Hi everyone, it's Danny here at CAST welcoming you once again to the R45. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new relocate and clone fixtures features that were added to WYSIWYG for this release. These functions will speed up your workflow by allowing you to either move or copy multiple fixtures at once from one hang structure to another and will be especially useful after you've imported fixtures into your file as you will see at the end of this video. Both functions operate exactly the same, but their end results are different. Relocate moves fixtures from one hang structure to another while clone copies fixtures. For example, once I select two or more fixtures on this pipe, I can activate the clone function via the edit menu or via the right click menu and move the cursor to another hang structure such as this truss. When the cursor touches the hang structure, WYSIWYG will indicate that it is OK to continue the operation by the white perpendicular lines that appear, so once I see these, I can click to clone the fixtures. I must point out, however, that all the selected fixtures must fit onto the target structure or none of them will be relocated or cloned. For example, if I select all the fixtures on this pipe and I try to clone them to this shorter pipe, the red X's indicate that I cannot do this. However, if I cancel the operation by hitting escape, select less fixtures and do the same, they are now cloned. That said, you must always ensure that all the selected fixtures will fit as intended on the target hang structure. What I mean by this is that if I select the fixtures I've just cloned and want to relocate them to this diagonal pipe, I cannot click to place them starting in the middle of the pipe, so I must move my cursor down the pipe until the red X's disappear, and then I can click to place them. Similarly, if I switch to the front view and clone some of these fixtures to this truss, which already has fixtures on it, I cannot place the first fixture between the two existing ones because this violates minimum spacing enforcement. As such, I must click to place them on the other side of the second fixture. As a reminder, minimum spacing is defined in the Document Options, Dialogs, Hang Structure Settings tab. I can also select fixtures on a truss cord and relocate or clone them to another cord, including the upper cords. For example, once I select the fixtures on the lower cord of this truss and activate Clone, I can right-click, select Hang Fixture on Hang Position 2, and when I click to place them, the fixtures are hung on the upper cord, as you can see. This option will remain on until it is turned off, so if I now want to relocate from the top cord back to the bottom cord, I right-click again, select Hang Fixture on Hang Position 1, and then click to place the fixtures there. What I cannot do, however, is select fixtures on multiple truss cords or multiple hang structures and expect to be able to relocate or clone them. Both functions work for all types of hang structures except, for the time being, for curved truss, which is why I don't have any curved truss in this file. They work for curved pipes though, so I can select fixtures from my truss here and relocate or clone them to this curved pipe. As you've observed, with every operation so far except for the last operation, the fixtures have maintained their spacing and their focus once the operation was complete. While spacing is always maintained, it is possible that on occasion, depending on the orientation of the target hang structure and how it was drawn, the resulting fixture's focus may end up opposite to that of the original fixtures, and this is what happened here. WYSIWYG offers two right-click options that help resolve such issues, Reverse Direction and Flip Pan. I will now undo the relocation to the curved pipe that I just did and I repeat it, but this time I will right-click and select the Reverse Direction option before I click to place the fixtures. As its name implies, this option causes the relocated or cloned fixtures to be placed in the opposite direction from the originals and results in correct placement on this curved pipe. The flip pan option causes the resulting fixtures to have their pan flipped by 180 degrees, so if I ever need to relocate some fixtures from one hang structure to another and I want them pointing upstage instead of downstage, for example, I can right click before I place them, uncheck reverse direction, right click again, select flip pan, and then click to place them with the intended result. It is of course also possible to have both reverse direction and flip pen enabled at the same time if needed, just remember that they both remain enabled until they are disabled. As such, if you ever get any unintended results, simply undo, repeat the command, and then right click before you place the fixtures to check if either of these options is enabled. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that this feature is going to prove very useful when working with imported fixtures, and here's why. As we all know, 
when we import fixtures, they each end up on their own pipe, so until now we had to move such fixtures to WYSIWYG hang structures one by one. However, thanks to the relocate function, we no longer have to do this. This is because once we activate it, if WYSIWYG detects that the selected fixtures pipes are collinear, it will allow us to move them to a single structure as I have just done. So there we go. These are the new relocate and clone fixtures features in the R45. To recap, they allow moving or copying multiple fixtures at once between hang structures or between different cords of the same truss. The resulting fixtures always maintain their spacing and focus, and if they don't, the two mid command options, reverse direction and flip pan, will help you achieve the intended placement. Last but not least, you can now import fixtures from CAD files or spreadsheets and easily move them to WYSIWYG's own hang structures in batches as opposed to one at a time. I have no doubt that you guys will put these features to plenty of good use now and for years to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care everybody!